Welcome to Adesia Radio France. You're listening to Nollywood Talk Show. Your host is Cyprian Johnson. On today's Nollywood Talk Show, we bring you exclusive interviews, radio drama, music, and more. Please stay tuned. Adesia Radio. Adesia Radio. Adesia Radio. Adesia Radio. Adesia Radio. Best radio. Share with us on this program the Nollywood movies you're watching this week. Share with us your favorite actors and actresses. Call to win one year subscription of our digital magazine, Nollywood Croissants Magazine, on our website www.nollywoodfrance.com. Adisha Radio. Adisha Radio. Best. The best radio. This is Nollywood Radio France. I'm in America. I am Cyril Ebe, Assistant Professor of Journalism and Mass Communications at a university in Ohio. And with me in Chateau, France, is the publisher of a new website devoted to Nollywood, the movie-making industry in Nigeria. Nollywood is the movie-making industry in Nigeria. Mr. Cyprian Josson, welcome to Nollywood Radio France. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you are the publisher of a m website and a magazine. The, web the magazine is called Nollywood Croissants Magazine. That's correct. Tell us what prompted you to publish a magazine focusing on the movie-making industry of Nigeria. Now, um, uh, first of all, I would uh, like to say that uh, before publishing this magazine, I've already published a book before. I'm a publisher. Um, of uh, books, and also I'm, uh, I'm a writer uh, at the same time. So this gave me uh, the opportunity uh, to come up with a new product. But coming to this magazine, the Nollywood Croissants magazine, the idea came up in my classroom when I was teaching um, geography. We, we were on a subject on globalization, and I was talking about Bollywood, Hollywood, and in the textbook, I noticed that something was missing. Nollywood was not included in the textbook. Now, I asked some of my students, do you, do you know what Nollywood means? They said, they they told me, no, I, we, we never had anything about that. So, I talked about Nollywood that uh, that afternoon, and then when I got home, uh, it prompted me, you know, I, I was inspired really to come up with something. What more, I searched on the internet, and I went around to see if there's any magazine that has been published in French language on the subject, and there was none. So I called some of my friends, that um, have been working with me for a while, and uh, they agreed to follow me in this project. And that came up with the magazine, the first issue we published in January, January, February issue, it's a bi-monthly magazine. And now we, we're now going to the second issue, which we, we're gonna talk about. How did you come up with the name of the magazine? It's called Nollywood Croissants Magazine. What is croissants now, in French? Now, I, I, I wanted to use the English word for croissants, which is boom. In the, now, it didn't sound, you know, um, it, it didn't sound well. Now, I, I said, okay, the, what I'm going to use, I, I'm going to use Nollywood, then I add a French word, croissants, which means the, the booming industry. Boom, it's like, like you can see um, for, for some of the Nollywood fans listening to us, if you go on the internet, uh, 
then you you have so many movies you can watch, different ones, subtitled and non-subtitled, uh, drama, um, uh, tragedy, love stories, whatever. So um, that inspired me to use the name uh, Croissants. But well, I, I could have used Boom also, Nollywood, Boom, uh, Booming, um, industry, I said no. You know, I, I say, I say, creator. It's somehow difficult to get come up with a name. But at the same time, Croissant, you know, sounds very good. Croissant sounds very good. So I said, okay, why not Croissants? And again, when when the magazine came out, um, it, it came out on the 14th of uh, January. People liked the name Croissants, Nollywood Croissants magazine. We oui, we oui. oui, oui. You live in Charter of France. How does living in this ancient city uh, city in France, how does living there inspire you to come up with this magazine on Nollywood? Now, the point is, when you've lived in um, an ancient city, like you said, for a very long time, um, what are you seeing? you you hear with the natives when, when, when I mean the natives uh, there's uh, white French and um, people that's like me that have stayed here for a very long time so uh, the, the the idea is to find a bridge the bridge is a touch with Africa now I, I can say I'm, I'm lucky because for, for first of all uh, I, I've been watching Nollywood movies for a long time. Now, I can say I'm one of the fans of Nollywood movies. You know, I watch because it takes me down to, you know, cuts off what I call nostalgia for having lived here for a very long time. So that's what one source of my inspiration. And the second source of my inspiration comes on the screen. You know, here in France, the type of movies we watch here, we are now used to watching, um, if you want, um, Hollywood movies or French movies. Now, you you rarely find black characters or uh, in, in in these movies, and when you find them, the the role given to them is not what uh, is not worth it. Now, Nollywood, it's a blessing for, uh, I can say it's a big blessing for uh, the African diaspora and anybody living outside um, Africa that can now identify with your own images, with, with your own stories, and with your own people. Now, I, I can say somebody said that, that Nollywood, a very good definition that Nollywood is a cinema um, by black people for black people and using black stories. I think it's not some somebody will not come out to say I'm Afrocentric. No, it's identifying with your culture, and this is what really inspired me. That empowered me more again to go ahead with this. Uh, magazine, the publication of this magazine. Never mind the incident that happened in my classroom that I opened a textbook and then find um, Nollywood. So that's, that's the way I say it. You're listening to Nollywood Radio France. I'm Cyril Ibe, Assistant Professor of Journalism and Mass Communications, and I'm speaking with the publisher of Nollywood Croissants magazine in France. His name is Cyprien Josson, he will join us for At this year radio, at this year radio, the best, the best radio. You are listening to At this year Radio France, please stay tuned. Now we bring you a radio drama written by Cyprien Josson. How can we save our Nollywood industry from piracy? That's the big question we're asking today. A radio drama written by Cyprian J.D. Johnson, episode 1. Good day. You're welcome to Nollywood Voices on Nollywood France Radio Paris. I'm Peter Ojuari. Today we have two gentlemen in our Paris studio. 
They've just arrived this morning at the Charles de Gaulle Airport. Chief Lawson Omoba. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Peter Ujwari. So, okay, King. Jeremiah, good morning. <laughs> Excuse me for that. We just landed this morning. The place was just cold. Ah, it's beautiful. It, 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 it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful place. Thank you, Mr. Keke, for that compliment. You, you welcome to Paris. I'm glad to have you both in our studio. My first question goes to Mr. Omoba. Point of correction there. I'm Chief Lawson Omoba. I beg your pardon, Chief Lawson Omoba. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, let the international community know my name. My name, as I'm called, is Oteke Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter what you call yourself? We are here. Don't talk to me that way. I'm Chief. No one said Omoba. It's a disgrace what you advise me to do. To deny my chieftaincy title in foreign land. This is shame. Shame on you, Jeremiah. Yes, yes, shame on me. But this is not why we're here. We're here to talk about, about our uh, movie industry. We can understand why we, we come for this conference all the way from Nigeria to talk about the, the way we can uh, move forward with this wonderful um, industry that, uh, uh, that we have created for the whole world, not only for Nigeria, the good image that we have everywhere. Good. Excuse me, gentlemen. You don't have to quarrel over little issues like me. Do you call that little issues? I am a chief. When it is a chief, oh, I understand why you call it little issue. It's because you've lived in Ubudu Ibo, in, uh, in a foreign land for a very long time. You have lost touch with our culture. Our culture respect chieftaincy, if you don't know what I mean. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go to the point. Let's go to the point. Now, uh, the, the issue at stake is about uh, the industry. Our, how can we save uh, the um, Nollywood industry? You know, the Nollywood industry uh, is well known around the world. But now there's one problem. The problem is piracy. How can we stop these pirates? How can we stop people from stealing the intellectual property of other people? Now, if you have any solution to that question, Chief Lawrence Omoba, could you please tell us? Now, our listeners are there, and they might ask your questions because, um, you know, we I, I can tell you we've got almost one million listeners around the world. Thank you for that question. Never mind, it's a difficult question to answer, but I will tell you how I'm fighting piracy as a distributor and producer in the Nollywood industry. First of all, I would like to explain to our international audience and especially in Paris and uh, around the world, everywhere, all those that are listening to us now, that the meaning of to explain to them, excuse me, uh, I'm sorry for that statement, um, the meaning of Nollywood, the Nollywood industry came to us just by, you know, accident. Creativity creeped in, and from one thing goes to the other. And before you know it, the industry will, has taken over the whole world. By surprise, this is the Nollywood industry. I'm proud to say that we are stars in the Nollywood industry. Stars you can recognize. Stars you can identify with. Stars now that they have all become models for the African community, for the whole world, and also most especially change the image uh, that people hold of Nigeria and uh, migrant country I love so much. So coming to answer your question, you must have um, inspired that question like I would do say <laughs> in Nigeria. I think the question should, should have been framed correctly. The first question should have looked this way. What is the meaning of Nollywood? <laughs> you're coming again. You're coming again. <laughs> Chief, now I say, oh, more, excuse me, can I say something? Can I say something? Chief, like you said just now, our international audience would like you to answer the question. Thank you. It's not running about the bush every time they ask the question. They just run out. Allow me to finish. Allow me to learn. Mr. Okeke, allow me to land Okeke Jeremiah. 
allow me to land for the interest of our international listeners. Very wood is a cultural product from our great nation Nigeria. It's the best thing that has ever happened to Africa since ever since uh, made his speech on colonialism. Even this morning, I can tell you, I, if anyone can tell me what is there, I could have been very happy what I was in court. The Frenchman, I didn't even understand what he was saying. But he just picked up my passport at the airport, and what happened? He looked at it and just stand, say, Bienvenue of France. I think that you mean, um, welcome to France. He just let me pass. You see, that's the good image we are enjoying now, and we, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Nigeria, I'm very proud, very proud of Nigeria, country Nigeria. I even, as I'm talking now, I'm moved. I just want to sing the national item as I'm talking. So, Nollywood is a good thing for Nigeria. Nollywood is a good thing for the African diaspora and Africa as a whole. And that is why what? Excuse me, that's just very interesting. Chief Lawson Oboba, that's interesting. Very good way of expressing yourself. Your voice sounds radio. You got a radio voice there. Me, Chief Lawson Oboba, very interesting. But I'm sorry, Chief Lawson Oboba, your time has elapsed. I will now turn to Sir OKK, our Nollywood legend, to tell us what he thinks about the problem of piracy affecting each other of the industry gradually but we are looking for solutions and you are there listening if you've got solution try to call in and then we'll pick up you then, then we we'll take your call make your question very short don't go on running around the bush because we're going to hit the nail on the head so okay okay <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, Mr. Ajari. I will go straight to the point. We need to educate the people on the meaning of intellectual property. We need to create more cinema scores. We must put up there some advertisement against piracy on radios and televisions around the world. Your radio, Nollywood France, can help us. Ah, uh, yes, can help us, Mr. Juari. In this fight, because if we don't fight now, we might lose, we might lose up, lose everything. So, so this is why we must now fight this war that is going to eat up what are one of the best industry that have, apart from our own here, you know, that you're rich country. And now, after buying right now, we have agriculture. And then after agriculture, we, are, we have now our money wood. We have to protect our baby. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that's interesting. Um, you can send us your ad. <laughs> Chief, um, Chief and the South KK, don't, don't hesitate to send us your advertisement and then we'll run that in our radio. That's correct. Now, uh, Chief Gawansin uh, uh, Omoba, um, do you have something to add to what Sir Okeke had just said? Yes, I have more things to add. The problem in this industry is not all about piracy. There's something to it again. See, the point again is, I have to improve the way people act in this, uh, in the movies, in the Nollywood movies. This is it. You are listening to Nollywood Voices on Nollywood Fast Radio Paris. Now, let, let me go to Sir OKK. You know, do you have something to add to what he just said? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Before Sir OKK, um, before Sir OKK takes, uh, starts to talk, and you don't want me to talk now. You're not taking my, my, my time. Excuse me, gentlemen, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. It's our, it's our, okay, okay. Can you have just the modesty to allow Chief uh, Lawrence and Omar to just say the last word before uh, you can out the door? We still have two or three minutes left, and then we'll, we'll wrap up this uh, debate. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Host. I just want to say that I don't buy the solution of my opponent. I don't buy the solution of my opponent. Um, uh, Jeremiah. It wants us to believe that we can fight piracy by playing into the hands of the pirates themselves. We need money to fight piracy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Chief Lawson Omoba and Sir OKK Jeremiah. Your last word. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a man of few words. Money is not the solution. We have to educate our people. We have to let them know that the Nollywood industry is also the image of Nigeria and Africa as a whole. It's our responsibility to protect this image. You see? Let me tell you something. <clears throat> let me tell you something. I read it. You see? We can be our own best friend. Or our own worst enemy. You want me to repeat that one? Listen to me. Chief Lawson Omoba. Listen to me. Mr. House. We can be our own... Our own... Best friend or our own worst enemy. Thank you very much. Thank you. You'll be listening to Nollywood Voice. At this year radio. At this year radio. At this year radio. The best radio. At this year radio. At this year radio. The best radio. The best radio.